Cool. We have a silver sword. It's a it's a silver sword. All right, guys. So that's where we're gonna end this live stream. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. All right. See ya. See ya. Because. All right. So remember, guys. We stream every day, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, for 365 days, 24 hours a week. I'm Black Hero. Make sure to subscribe. Merch. Yo. Peace. All right. We're done. the next day oh that was some good pizza yo that was some good pizza wait no no what what happened here no we gotta stop this we gotta stop this oh come on no no tell me what 968 gigabytes so that's what happens when you actually forget to stop recording your video it'll just go on forever and then like almost one terabyte so yeah this being able to actually automatically stop recording is 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 godsend it'll save it'll save your your storage okay this is also good for your, the hashtag nine minute no hashtag project nine minute video you can actually stop recording at a specific time within a specific duration say nine minutes so that way your obs clip is nine minutes long you don't have to edit it it can go directly to youtube no cuts no clips just directly it's it's easy so that's what this is josh v castro here and in this video we're going to be talking about how to automatically stop recording your video without you know hands-free OBS will do it at a certain time at a certain duration on a certain scene depending on what your need is and yeah why is it important it's, be, it's important because it's just efficient you know being able to not have to worry although yes you know probably you're at a point where you know that you should stop recording but there will be times there will be days where you're out of it especially if you're a streamer and you're recording for your VODs to upload on YouTube for instance and then you know you just forget because it's been a long day you've been gaming hard you've been streaming hard you've been talking to your audience for a really long time and you just feel exhausted at the end of the day and then it's just it's just you forget it happens and then you come back the next day because you don't shut down your computer and then boom two terabytes one terabyte 500 gig that's a lot of storage wasted and then having to go through those files is just not it's just not ideal okay you don't want that you don't want that so that's why i recommend you do this so i'll leave some resources in the description below uh so that you can use as you follow along with this project so that i'll actually guide you to learn how to use those resources in the description below and you can use it for yourself especially for hashtag project nine minute video we're gonna be working on that in this video all right so let's quickly start this with step one uh, make sure to change your recording file name so you just go to advanced right here and then recording file name format this is actually how i do it this is my process to make things more efficient and easy so we're gonna name this obs studio because this is obs studio related it's nice to have tags on your file name so you just you just it's just it just makes life easier it just makes life easier so after that we're gonna go to profile we're gonna make sure we choose the right profile so for this we're gonna actually choose 16 by nine okay so 16 by nine is the profile we're gonna be going with and then you're gonna not see me for a while because next you're gonna actually have to make a new scene selection so we go to scene selection hit new and then you're gonna type the scene selection for this scene selection i'm gonna go for this i'm gonna go two by one all right you can go 16 by nine uh aspect ratio this is the aspect ratio i, I like mine 18 by nine because you know mobile friendly mobile they're getting longer now they're getting longer i'll make a video on why and then we're gonna call this hashtag project nine minute video i recommend you guys follow along with me all right so if you haven't downloaded the resources below make sure to do that all right so after this you're going to create a new scene selection so your scenes will be empty i'm gone now you can see the re this is all 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 empty now which is what we want which is perfect all right next we're going to create three scenes okay so yeah i forgot something actually go back to scene selection yeah this is this is wrong uh, this is not two by one. Uh, we're actually working on a 16 by nine canvas. So we're actually gonna just rename this really quick to 16 by nine. So there, that makes more sense. I'm pretty sure someone caught onto that. And then I fix it right away. So I'm, I'm perfect. All right, so now we're gonna make those three scenes, like I said. So those three scenes we're gonna make is these three. Ready, recording, stop. So we're gonna make a ready scene. We're gonna actually rename the first scene into ready, as simple as copy pasting that. We're gonna create a new scene. And then we're gonna copy paste recording 
and then I'm gonna leave these in the resource as well so it's gonna be in a notepad so use it if you want to follow along with me like exactly if that's a thing you want to do perfect and then for scene three it's gonna be stop so we got our three scenes ready ready recording and stop now we're gonna set up our scene so for ready we're gonna add a media source the media source will also be in the folder that I will be sharing with you guys later we're gonna call this ready um, ready ready we're just gonna call it ready all right so we're gonna hit okay we're gonna browse for that file so once you locate the files that I actually gave you uh, it's gonna be titled 1080p 60 intro we're gonna hit open this is actually I'm gonna have different files in different aspect ratios for you so don't worry uh, this is just for example purposes I'll fix it uh, but I will show you what we are looking for and I'm back all right so before we actually finish this it was just weird without me in the scene it just felt wrong okay so now that you have added this file it's gonna be called it's gonna be called ready okay so for your convenience this file name is gonna be called ready and then we want this Restart playback when source becomes active. No, we don't want that to happen. We don't want it to restart. No, actually, yes, we do. We want it to restart. Show nothing when playback ends. Okay, so restart playback when source becomes active. Yes. Show nothing when playback ends. No, we want it to freeze at the frame. Okay, that's what we want. And then we just hit OK. And then there, we have your 9 second countdown timer. That's what this is. This is a 9 second countdown timer all right so yeah my mind was in two places i was thinking two by one and this is 16 by nine but yeah this is fine you're not gonna see this anyway but for you it's gonna probably be right depending on what aspect ratio you're going for so i'm gonna be apply i'm gonna be giving you guys two different aspect ratios two by one and 16 by nine so 16 by nine is standard 1080p and then two by one is what marquis brownlee does uh in kbhd all right, so this is ready scene. All right, so now we're going to go to recording scene. Recording scene is uh, fairly simple. First, you want to insert your camera, so your webcam. So we're going to do that right now. So we're going to go down here and add a video capture device. We're going to call this Brio since my camera is a Logitech Brio. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go down here and choose the webcam or your camera of choice. Mine is going to be Logitech Brio. Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, then we're going to actually hit custom for this because, you know, th this is the thing with my this Logitech camera I got here. We're going to go 1920 by 1080 and we're going to go 24 film, uh, color space 709 and we're going to go full. That's about it for this. We're going to hit OK and then good. Check. Or we're going to actually have to frame this so you guys don't see my door and my microphone just so make sure to set it up nice and good once you have something that you like once you're nice and centered you know for your nine minute video that's what we're working with uh, we're gonna hit freeze okay so remember guys follow with me follow follow along with me all right we'll, we'll get to the good stuff don't worry all right actually i see a little bit there all right that's good now we're gonna add the media file so we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go to media source all right so we're gonna add a media source we're gonna call this uh, hashtag project nine minute video can you type that long yes perfect all right we're gonna get okay and then we're gonna browse the file it's gonna be the same place and so for this video we're gonna choose the one minute all right I recommend you do the one minute too and then later on just switch it out to the nine minute all right the the whole concept should be the same so we should be fine so we're gonna go one minute for this and then we should be fine then for this we don't want it to loop and then we want it to show nothing when the playback ends that's good and then we want it to restart when the playback source becomes active so just keep these two checked by default they should be checked hit ok and then there you have your nine minutes timer right here right at the bottom nice and perfect looking so good we're good there so that's working uh, you can adjust it if you want but for this, we should be fine. Next, for the stop scene, we're, we're going to add a media source. Uh, the media source is going to be called stop in the file. So we're going to also name this stop. Uh, but for here, it's it's not named stop. But for yours, it should be named stop. Okay, me, I should name that stop. <laughs> All right. Uh, but here, it's called the outro 2. We're going to open this. Same, restart playback when source becomes active. Show nothing when playback ends. It doesn't matter. Just keep those at default. Hit OK. And then there, there's your stop video. We're going to actually transform this. Make sure it fits to screen nice and perfect. Actually, we should have done that to the first one. 
Yeah, so that it's nice and, you know, centered and fit and perfect. Okay, so for the ready scene, there is actually a file. Uh, we forgot to add the camera. So we're, we actually want to add the camera. I mean, the the, this, the video capture to all scenes. So we're actually going to do this. We're going to copy the Brio. Or for your case, it's camera. Just name it camera. We're going to copy that. Go to scene ready. Paste reference. Make sure it's at the bottom. Okay, perfect. Do, that this, do the same to stop. Make sure it's at the bottom. So there, these guys should be transparent already so we don't actually have to drop the transparent but if you guys want to drop the transparency even more i'll teach you really quick just go to ready which is the media file you go to filters uh, go color correction that's that's fine just do color correction leave nothing but opacity then you can like drop this down to 40 or 39 that should be fine so it's more transparent you could do the same here for stop go to filters add a color correction it won't actually color the correction <laughs> But it does not matter as well because we're not going to be recording this and just hit stop. So there, ready. It's transparent. You can still see it. You can follow your, you could, you know, rule of thirds if you want. And then here's stop. Transparent, nice. And it doesn't have to be clean. It doesn't have to be perfect. But for yours, it probably will look nicer and neater and good. And then here's recording with the countdown. We can actually drop the countdown just a bit, just a bit like right there. So it's at the bottom corner of the screen all right so here is the flow of what we're going to be trying to accomplish all right we're going to go we're going to start at ready okay once we're on scene ready we're going to we're going to create a hotkey that will both record and switch to recording scene at the same time so in our case it's going to be control shift r all right so we're going to go up here uh into settings right we're going to go to hotkeys then here start recording you'll find it do control shift r or whatever hotkey you want to choose all right i recommend control shift r just for learning purposes just follow along with me so you won't get confused change it later and then go to scene recording switch to scene control shift r all right so when we press control shift r it will do two things at the same time we'll start recording and we'll switch to scene recording all right could it be any more redundant? Okay, now stop and a stare. So we are here now and then it's recording. All right, so it's gonna record for a certain duration. You can actually decide how long that duration will be. Uh, in our case, it's gonna be one minute, 10 seconds for this for this media, because this media file is one minute, 10 seconds, or it could be nine minutes flat uh, for the hashtag nine minute, hashtag project nine minute video. And then once that duration, you know, has been reached, it will automatically, with your hands away from anything, switch to scene stop. All right. So in order for it to automatically switch to scene stop, which is what we are after, because we want automation. Automation is the new life, the new thing. Uh, we're gonna actually have to download a plugin. The plugin is called Advanced Scene Switch. I'm going to leave a link in the description below, but if you want to follow with me on how to get it, just follow along. On your Google Chrome, you're going to want to go to OBS, uh, or actually you're just going to search OBS plugins. Uh, that's the, what you're going to search for, OBS plugins. It should be the first one here. So obsproject.com, then resources. This is where we're going to go to get the plugin Advanced Scene Switcher. Then you're going to go here under categories. It says OBS Studio Plugins. I want you to click that. You can actually just search for it right away or click the link below. But if you want to follow how to actually get it on the official site and you know not be not be scammed, is that is that what I'm looking for? Or I, I don't know. And anyway, we go to filters right here on the top right of this thing. Uh, we're gonna actually filter this by downloads. So downloads descending. Remember, downloads descending double D filter. And then there so it's gonna categorize this or filter it by most downloads to least downloads so with this having nine almost a million downloads and you know this going to like 46 so it should be like the seventh one here so one two three four five six seven eighth my bad all right so here we go it's the eighth one on the most downloaded plugins for obs studio to advance in switcher just click on that it's version 1.6.2 now all right, so there's download instructions here, updates, reviews, and everything. Just go to download. I'll teach you how to actually install it. Don't worry. It's really easy, barely an inconvenience. So once it's downloading, it'll be shown here at the bottom left corner of the screen that it is downloading. 
All right, wait for it. Wait for it. All right, so now that it's done downloading, just hit this top right icon. If you're on Windows, if you're on Mac or somewhere else, then it should be a different story. But yeah. All right, then <laughs> go to Scene Switcher, unzip it. Uh, we're going to extract it to, to Scene Switcher. Here, we're going to open this. Go to Scene Switcher here. And then there, Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. You can read me if you want. We're not going to because I know how. So we're going to go to Windows. Uh, for your for your PC, um, for your OBS version, what did you choose? 32-bit or 64-bit? We chose, I chose 64-bit, so I'm going to go with 64-bit. You're going to want to copy this file, okay? So advanced scene switcher.dll. Copy. Perfect. You're good. Next, we're going to want to go to OBS Studio. So now that we're back here, so now that we're back in OBS Studio, I want you to close it, okay? Just close it and forget about it, all right? Just gone. All right, so see that over there? This is OBS Studio. Uh, shortcut all right I want you to right click it because it's on the desktop uh, I want you to go to open file location all right so open file location so this is the file location of OBS studio now I want you to go back just one bit to OBS studio and go to OBS plugins another way to go to this file folder is actually just to go to PC local disk C program files if it's a 64 um, bit if it's 32 bit it should be in program files 86 but for my case, it's in program files. Look for OBS Studio, small caps. This one is an old version. And then go to OBS Plugins, 64-bit. And then I want you to paste uh, the file, which is this one. All right, so copy. Just directly paste it. It's going to ask to replace. Okay, I have it already. But for you, it probably you don't probably have it already. So I'm going to just replace the file in the destination. And it's going to ask you... If you want to continue and give it you know permission just say yes and then after that open OBS studio again and then it should be it should be there all right so it should be here in tools and boom advanced scene switcher installed good for you great job good job well done and now moving on so now we're gonna set it up it's really quick there's like probably like four steps just just really easy so go to tools it should be here tools advancing switcher if you didn't close it then good just keep it open and then here we are this is advancing switcher there's probably three tabs that i want you to pay attention to general um, media and sequence so okay so we're gonna do sequence probably later on but for this um example situation that you're following through we're gonna focus on media for now we're gonna stay on general so you want to hit stop so that it's inactive for now but you can actually start it right now it doesn't matter you see if it says here it's active that means it's working then you should be good to go uh, and if you want to stop it at ever for whatever reason you can just press stop all right so here you go down here it says automatically stop streaming or recording on scene so we're going to click yes or check mark and then we're going to choose the scene stop so what it does here it's going to trigger uh obs is going to say that once we are on scene stop a trigger will happen saying that I should stop OBS studio should stop recording so that's how it's autumn it's that's basically all you need to know <laughs> at this point you can figure out everything else all right we're done never mind uh, so yeah once we're on scene stop recording is done streaming is done that means everything is stopped so that's why it's called scene stop so that's what we want for general next how do we get to scene stop automatically from recording so Thank you for asking. All right, so when, all right, I want you to, to listen to me. So this is how we're going to do it for media because we have a media file. So when project nine minute video, right, the nine minute countdown, well, for in, in our case, it's a one minute countdown. Uh, when nine hashtag project nine minute video is in a state of ended, ended. So when this video has ended, all right, uh, it and none because you know we 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 just want to base it on the media file that i'm going to give you switch to stop using cut you don't want to use fade cuts fine so that it's a nice clean cut end which is going to be perfect for you that's it and then just hit plus don't don't exit okay hit plus this is down here in the bottom left plus then here it should go here switch to x stop using cut if hashtag project nine minute video state is in ended all right, there, let's test it. Boom, okay? Also, lastly, if for some reason, uh, if you advanced scene switcher does not work for you, then I highly recommend that you go 
to you know um, advancing switcher plugin on OBS Studio and then scroll down and if you're on, Mac, on not Mac if you're on Windows number four install the visual C++ redistribution for Visual Studio 2017 there's a link you can just follow that uh, maybe that's the reason why it's not working so if it's not working for you right off the bat once installing maybe you're just you just need to download this uh, if it's working fine you can still download this or not. Uh, if it's working, then it's working. You're good. If you want to download this, it's in the instructions. Uh, and then I highly recommend you do it. All right, so now let's test it. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to do it right now. All right, so we're actually going to create a false scene so that you know we can actually see the start process from nothing. So here's black screen. Good black screen. Okay, so we're going to be ready. All right, we're going to actually role play here really quick. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna be talking about auto stopping for Project Nine Minute video, and then it'll stop here, and then just freeze frame. Okay. Let me just. I want to stand here a bit. Okay. Next, I'm gonna press Control. Wait. Wait. I wanna. Oh. All right. I wanna be higher. Uh. Good. Good. We're good. All right. Ready. Uh. Is the light good? Nice. All right. Control Shift uh, and R. Hey yo, Josh V Castro here, and this is one minute. So, uh, I want to talk about auto recording, stopping, stopping auto recording. Well, this is Project Nine Minute video, so stuttering, failing. You know, I'm honing my skill. This is what this project's about. Okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to see you guys do. And there should be a timer down here somewhere, uh, saying that it's about to end. Blah, blah 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 that one minute's almost up <laughs> all right yeah uh mm -hmm. so yeah so project nine minute video really needs auto stop feature to just to be able to to get that nine minutes flat straight raw because this is this is this is my vision of this project all right i want you to just you know i don't want you to think about anything i don't want you to think about rendering i just want you to make a video that's ready to upload so you, there's no more color grading no more no more noise canceling no more filtering and there you go it's that's one minute 10 seconds see you and then the next one see ya bye bye and then there you go it's done see see what happened it's auto remuxing project nine minute video we are now in the negative over nine minutes so this is how that looks like and then there and then you saw that right here on the bottom it, it's just it stopped recording my hands were free all right I promise you oh uh, hopefully you did see it right and so everything was automated which is beautiful which is what we want this is this is what we want this is how this should work so that we can actually get exactly one minute 10 seconds I mean, I'll show you the fun so see here you guys see it right here this video all right see it started one 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 minute 10 seconds on the dot from when it recorded oh come on see that is just really you smooth that and then boom so here when it ends this is what you upload to YouTube and then just gone done and then there's that I'm gonna fix that that splash screen at the end we don't want that but it's gonna it's gonna be gone all right when I give you the final resources in the description below make sure to check those out so that's it but there's uh, there's two things I want you to keep note of okay uh, these media files uh, the stop project nine minute video ready they have actually sound if you guys notice it's a beep sound it's like a countdown sound to actually uh, notify you auditorily <laughs> through your hearing that the video is at a certain point in time that it's almost ending and then ready also has its you know standard countdown sound as well as stop has this sound. All right, if you don't want to have that actually in the final video, because you know, for the, the, for the sake of project nine minute video, you don't you want to directly upload it to YouTube and you don't want those sounds, it's really simple. You can just mute it, all right? But if you want those audio cues, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Then there's another way to go about it. Just go to advanced audio properties and then make sure that, well, for the first, Brio is, has to be zero and then Make sure that this right here is uh, nothing, I guess. You can monitor an output. You want to do that actually in the first place so you can actually hear it if you're monitoring and outputting. And you can just leave this at 2. All right, if it's at 2, uh, it won't be heard probably, <laughs> hopefully, uh, on YouTube. I'm going to test that. All right, if it does, 
all right hit the dislike button i guess then that's on me uh for not doing my research study my my yeah that and yeah or just hit nothing i think that i think you can still monitor it if there's nothing but keep it on track two if you're gonna edit so no actually no keep it on track four so that way your desktop audio is on two your mic is on three then the these are on four do that the for the rest as well i highly recommend it just go to advanced properties uh yeah we're gonna do this leave it on four uh, and off one all right leave it on four off one just on four four only four only go to advanced properties uh same for stop actually no why are we on stop we're supposed to be on ready perfect advanced properties ready uh just leave it on four so these three media files ready recording stop make it on track four all right another thing i want you guys to consider is what if you want a specific duration not one minute nine minutes not nine minutes and it's based on actually a duration you want or you have in mind it's not based on a media file uh there's another way remember i said a while ago sequence so just go to advanced scene switcher uh you can actually delete this if you want just hit delete shouldn't be uh, uh that difficult just hit the minus button go to sequence all right so sequence is interesting so for the same purpose all right we're, for the same flow for example's sake uh, so we're gonna do this so when on recording is active so recording is active all right switch to stop after a certain time period so for instance a while ago that was what a minute 10 seconds so if you wanted to just you if you wanted to base it on the file a minute 10 there that's a minute 10 seconds because you know you can't you can't do you can't do minute these are seconds by the way so a minute 10 seconds right you can actually change these to minutes if you want so seconds or one minute that also works using cut oh wait why one minute one after one minute there so after one minute it'll go to cut all right so if you're doing if you're doing hashtag project nine minute video and you don't want to use the media source you can just do nine minutes all right if you're recording something and or if you're live streaming and you want to set a cap to how long you're actually live streaming for like you say, okay, I'm going to just live stream for three hours today. Just three hours. So you can put hours and then three. So there. It's going to switch to three hours. So okay, for this uh, tutorial sake, ju just really short tutorial, I mean demo, we're going to do 10 seconds. 10 seconds using cut. Hit plus to add it. There, make sure that this is active. Automatically stop streaming. Uh, you can double check recording wait for 10 seconds then stop using cut. there's there, there's a there's a lots of possibilities you can do with this guys this is an amazing feature it's an amazing plugin i highly recommend you guys get it all right so we're gonna do this actually no uh i wanted to do 20 seconds so advanced scene switcher so if you actually want to edit this you cannot edit this you're gonna actually have to do it again but you can click it to actually follow the same pattern hit 20 and then add it again there so this is 10 this is 20 you can delete the 10 just like that very simple and then let's test it out all right so we're gonna stay on ready so let's ready ourselves all right so let's test it it's, it's only gonna be 20 seconds so we should like just keep this nice and short so remember it's control shift r for me that's my hotkey and then ready set go we're in frame all right make sure the the we good we good we good looking perfect hair in spots and control the shift uh hopefully you guys did enjoy this video make sure to you know check out this playlist about obs stuff obs studio advanced tutorials and everything you need to know is going to be there also check out this video the next video is going to be about how to look awesome in zoom unique in zoom using obs studio until the next one see ya and then here you guys see it it's auto remuxing by itself and there you go perfect just perfect brilliant beautiful and done so there you guys have it hope you guys did enjoy this video remember being able to auto stop your video is really beautiful it's efficient it's a time saver and it can save your hard drive and you know all in all the plugin advanced scene switcher is just really powerful huh <laughs> yeah 
All right, so that's automatic. Anyway, guys, see ya. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to, you know, check out this playlist about OBS stuff, OBS Studio, advanced tutorials, and everything you need to know is going to be there. Also, check out this video. The next video is going to be about how to look awesome in Zoom, unique in Zoom, using OBS Studio. Until the next one, 